Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So that you're back, welcome if you're new. My name is Natalie, and today I'm doing the books and makeup tag. Yes, so because I'm filming today, I want to film a few videos, um, pre film a few videos today. I thought, why not also? make me getting ready into video because uh, i have seen this tag going around for years um i cannot find the original um maker of this tag i think they deleted the video um but i'm going to link the blog post i'm using um to get the questions um and uh yes let's get right into it so number one um Pick a book. No, no. <laughs> Number one, primer. Pick a book that left a lasting impression on you. So first, primer. Um, I'll be using today. I'll be using the uh, NYX Bear with Me Hydrating Jelly Primer. <laughs> So while well, this sets in, a book that left a lasting impression on me. Um, I already prepared the books, I just want to say. Um, but um, A Storm of Swords by George R. R. Martin. This is the, is it the second or is it the third? It's the third. <laughs> oh my god, I don't remember. It's been a while. Yes, this is the third book in the um a song of ice and fire saga first book being a game of thrones and i cannot go into too much detail without spoiling i'm gonna bend in spoilers so if you still haven't seen the show or heard of uh what it's about and what happens um you can skip now and if you don't see spoiler anymore under here um you're good to go so yes, um, Storm of Swords has two major <laughs> events happening that I still think about and I'm still upset about and I still like, uh, I get, you know, this first is the rat wedding is in this book um, and then also um, the the duel between the mountain and the viper um Oberon Martell is also in this book and I never actually like scream out loud or talk I, I don't talk when I read but with this book I remember chucking it across the room after duel with the mountain and the viper I was just like I'm done with you are you out of your mind what are you doing this i still feel the anger with this book and the dread and the like i get adrenaline just thinking about um this and i only read this once i never reread re it after this and i still think about i still remember the feeling i had while reading this book so i would definitely this would definitely count as a lasting impression for me Number two, foundation, favorite first book in a series. Um, so for foundation, I'll be using, oh God, what is it called? Maybelline New York Fit Me in Dewy and Smooth. And this is 100, oh, oh sorry, I didn't show it. But yes, this one, um, this is number 120, Classic Ivory. This is the one, I mean, it's just a drugstore, drugstore foundation that I really like. And I'm going to apply it with a sponge from Etude House. Wait, what was the question? Foundation. Yes, for favorite first book in a series. Um, 
Do a basic, basic what? I don't know, but um, Illumine by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. Um, I read only read the first two, um, but the second book left me a bit lacking because it was kind of repetitive to what this did. But this was just, it was so good. It was so interesting to read. Um, and um, while I'm not such a fan of the romance in here, the general concept and story and plot twist was absolutely phenomenal. Um, and I highly recommend. Yes, number three, eyebrows. Pick a book you think everyone should read. So first, eyebrows. I'm going. I think I'm, today I'm just gonna go in with some powder. Um, I don't know what this is. It, I have have this for years. Like literally, it's been a decade probably, and I'm still using it. So it's just some no brand <laughs> brow powder that I'm using because um, I don't. I don't. I don't know how to do my brows properly. Sorry. <laughs> So yeah, okay, I'm not mad. I cannot see a lot because I'm not wearing my glasses and it's really dark. It's really dark, I am so sorry. Uh, I'm sitting in front of a window too, but it's like, it's raining. It's pouring actually. Ooh, okay, but anyway, um, a book I think everyone should read is Cherry Magic by Toyota Yu. I talked about this, sorry. <laughs> I talked about this in my last in one of my last videos um this um follows Arachi and um who wakes up on his 30th birthday and finds out that he can read the minds of everyone he touches and then finds out that um his co-worker Kurosawa is in love with him and the story kind of starts from there we're already seven volumes in in Japan and I think three volumes are out in English um, but this is so beautiful and so pure and highly recommend this if you're a fan of Heartstopper um, while this does not deal with the whole coming of age and sexuality discussion that Heartstopper has their cuteness and pureness is just everything to me and i highly recommend you pick this up everyone should read this Ev everyone should read this um number four concealer let's make concealer there <laughs> concealer pick some characters you wish didn't exist well that's harsh oh, sorry um first of all my concealer is um, it's a Japanese brand LB? Is it a Japanese brand? I don't know, but it's drugstore. It's LB. What is this? Natural ochre. <laughs> Yes, so, um, a character I wish didn't exist. Um, I have an ebook, but not uh, as a physical copy, but, um, there is a couple in LOL by Lucy Lennox, and... Oh, it's a co-writer, something Maddox. I don't forget, sorry, they're sisters. But, yes, LOL, um, there's a couple in this story that does nothing at all they're just annoying and I, I mean it didn't exist it's a bit harsh you know but I thought why write them in the story they don't contribute anything except for annoying comments yes I don't even remember their names at all but um while reading this I really thought like why are they here they don't why if, 
we didn't have the scenes with them it would be the same story they're so unnecessary next one is what do we have number five powder pick your favorite last book in a series yes so i don't use powder i don't like how it feels on my skin um so no baking or anything for me but i still wanted to talk about a book and this is alita uh, battle angel sorry battle angel alita by kishiro yukito this is a cyberpunk uh science fiction uh, manga series um i think some of you might have seen the movie that came out a few years ago i think which actually uh I liked it a lot um, but yes so this is one of my favorite manga series of all time I love this so so much um, we follow Alita who is a cyborg she gets um, found was an engineer goes scrapping for parts and finds her head in the dumpster and she does not remember who she is um, it kind of develops from there how she finds out who she is and what she's capable of and all that but what I loved about especially this one um, it deals a lot with what does it actually mean to be human if you have seen the movie and we're not a biggest fan still read this it's so good and the ending of this still make me cry it, it's just beautiful and I loved it so much. So number six, eyeshadow. Pick a book with your favorite colors on the cover. So first I'm going to do my eyeshadows and then I'll be right back uh, with the book I want to talk about. So, number six, um, what was it? Pick a book with your favorite colors on the cover. So, my favorite color is red, but for covers especially, I do like a combination of like black and red and white. Um, I very much gravitate towards these the most. Um, so, There Will Come a Darkness by Katie Rose Poole. So, this was a cover by and although i was intrigued by the synopsis i saw the cover i'm like okay i'm gonna get this this is probably my favorite ya series um i love this book and these two books so much the third one comes out in september and i cannot wait i cannot wait but first of all it's stunning it's absolutely gorgeous um we follow this is a multi pov um, story with all five characters not being in the same place so they're all different parts of a story that unfolds um, based on a prophecy about the age of darkness and um, I love this there are prophecies and five people that are entangled in that prophecy we don't know who will stop this age of darkness we don't know who will cause it I love this so much. I thought it was very. Um, I love all these characters and I love following them. And the world was very vivid, at least for me. I felt it was very vivid. Um, yes, read this. Please read this. I love it. You will probably see this book featured in my channel from now on quite a lot because the book comes out in September and I cannot wait. I cannot. Number seven, eyeliner. Pick a dark and mysterious book. So first, eyeliner. What is this? This is Maybelline New York Hyper Sharp Liner. All about that drugstore life, my friends. All about that drugstore life. there we go sorry sorry you can't see anything this is a horrible video i don't even know if i will upload it because of horrible lighting i have to deal with today 
Anyhow, um, a book with a dark and mysterious cover. So I don't read a lot of mysterious books, but um, a cover I immediately thought of was Fairest by Marissa Maya. This is um, a novella set in the Lunar Chronicles universe and it's Levana's story. And I don't know, I just, I love, I love this cover like, with the mirror and her crown is so fitting with her veil over her face so no one can look at her. I don't know, I love it so much. I don't remember a lot about this. It's been a hot minute since I read this and it was, I think it was fine. It was like three stars. I didn't really uh, care too much about her origin story, although I do like her as an antagonist. But I really do. I think it's my favorite color in the Lunar Chronicles, Chronicles uh, series. So dark and mysterious, like her face. Number eight is Mascara. Pick a long book. And from a mascara, this is the uh, Uzumote Mascara number nine. Looks like this. Yes, this is the volume one. Um, I don't use uh, fake lashes, so. Okay, there I have it. Normally I would brush it out, but I forgot. My, uh, I don't have it here, do I? I forgot it in, in the bathroom and I don't want to stand up again and get it. Um, a long book. What did I? Um, I'm going to go with a book that I haven't read yet, but I'm really excited to read. Um, but also intimidated to read. And this is Master of Sorrows by Justin Cole. This is quite big. Although page count wise, it's uh, 577. Feels bigger. It's very intimidating, but I'm very, very excited to read this. Um, I think I talked about it a, bit, a little bit um, in my unread books, but this is about NF who wants to become an avatar, like a thief, priest, monk, whatever, and um, stealing magical artifacts. And there is a bit more to him than that. Uh, but I don't know much more about this and I want to go in it as blind as possible. I'm very excited. I will, I think I'm going to read it soon. Also because I'm afraid that I won't be getting the hardback version of Master Artificer, which is the second book, uh, anymore if I like this and I want to have matching versions. So I think I want to read this soon and then see if I'm going to pick up the second book or not. Uh, number nine, Blush. Pick a book with a cringe-worthy romance. Um, I'm gonna apply blush first. So, um, cringe worthy, worthy romance. Um, I didn't pick anything because in general I don't cringe at romance. I enjoy romance in every shape or form. So actually, I don't have any book for that question because if I'm not vibing with the main characters and their chemistry, I normally DNF it really quickly. Um, and everything else, I'm just not cringing because. I love them and I want them to be together and happy forever and ever. So I don't have a question. Uh, I don't have a question for that answer. I don't have an answer for that question. But let me know if you have any <laughs> ringe worthy um, romances you uh, would like to share with me. The 10th is highlighter. Pick a book that brightens your day. I'm not gonna apply highlighter today because I'm not going out. Normally I would, but I, I don't feel like it today <laughs> for just filming. But um, a 
the book that brightens my day, um, Red, White, and Royal Blue by Casey McQuiston. This, I just, this make me so happy, so insanely happy, and it's so positive and lovable, and I don't know, it just, it was everything I need. It makes me really happy and always brightens my day thinking about it and thinking about the possibility about the imagination that the world like this can exist um if you have read it you know what i mean at the end beautiful beautiful and i cannot wait for one last stop which is on my reading list for this month so I'm very excited for that the last one lipstick your favorite book kiss so first lipstick um Seems like it's Maybelline girl. Okay, Maybelline Superstate Matte Ink in the color 80 Ruler. This is what they look like. They last forever and ever and ever. They last with my mask on. They last while I eat. Highly recommend. And they come in really cute colors. So, yeah, that looks nice. I'm very happy. Okay, but yes, my favorite book, Kiss. Um, we Hunt the Flame by Half of Faisal. Um, generally, I, I think I gave this book three stars because the beginning was just far too slow for me, but it picks up really nicely in the end. And um, Safira and um, Nazir are just so spicy and i love it so much um and their kiss is absolutely beautiful and i um have we free the stars already here so i'm hoping to be picking that up soon um but yes their romance i really 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 enjoyed their chemistry yes so this was the books and makeup tag i hope you enjoyed this video um Give it a like, subscribe if you want to see more content of me in this with this face because I'm going to film uh, one or two other videos now too. And um, I hope to see you next week then. Okay, bye!